What's going on guys? This is Ryan with the RK Outpost, and after the horrific tragedy on the set of Rust, where Alec Baldwin, who is not only the lead actor, but also the producer of this film, shot and killed a woman, Helena Hutchins, as well as injuring the director, Joel Souza, we had a ton of details emerge. Some of them accurate, some of them not. But now we're starting to get a better picture for actually what went down on this set, and it is truly horrifying because it wasn't just a freak accident it was actually a series of safety violations involving firearms multiple misfires in the day leading up to this event with a ton of people on crew complaining saying it's not safe here we can't work here and in fact some of them left just hours before this fatal shooting happened they quit they said we're done we can't work here it is not safe and it turns out that they were right and they were lucky to escape with their lives, to be quite honest with you. Here's the headline from the LA Times. Rust Crew describes onset gun safety issues and misfires days before the fatal shooting. Now, there's a lot of articles out here. I think this LA Times one actually does the best job of kind of laying out this series of events and then laying out the actual shooting itself. So we're going to go through all of that. Uh, I did just want to say before we even get into this... Um, you know, thoughts and prayers and condolences to Helena Hutchins and her entire family and anyone who is friends with her, anyone who's having to go through this grief, anything like that, can't imagine, um, you know, something like this happening. So my thoughts are with her family. But let's get into the article. Hours before Alec Baldwin fatally shot a cinematographer on the New Mexico set of Rust with a prop gun, a half dozen camera crew workers walked off the set to protest working conditions. The camera operators and their assistants were frustrated by the conditions surrounding the low-budget film, including complaints about long hours, long commutes, and collecting their paychecks, according to three people familiar with the matter who were not authorized to comment. Safety protocol standards in the industry, including gun inspections, were not strictly followed on the set of Rust. They said at least one of the camera operators complained last weekend to a production manager about gun safety on set. And when it comes to Alec Baldwin... This man is the producer of this movie. This man is ultimately responsible for all of the safety on set. And in fact, if you look at Martin Walsh here, I am a producer. Producers are 100% responsible and accountable for safety on set. Rust producers replaced union crew with non-union crew the day of the incident. There'd been prior misfires of a, quote, prop gun. From early reports, it looks like producers created an unsafe, negligent environment. And that will be very important when it comes to Alec Baldwin's future. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about enacting, I'm talking about in prison or not. Um, let's continue. Three crew members who were present at the Bonanza Creek Ranch set up on Saturday said they were particularly concerned about two accidental prop gun discharges. And we keep hearing the use of prop gun. It seems to me like people are using it the way it's being described in these is they're using it to kind of describe guns that they use on set, not actual prop guns, which aren't meant to be fired or even fire blanks or anything like that. So just, just to be clear, Baldwin stunt double accidentally fired two rounds Saturday after being told that the, that the gun was quote cold lingo for a weapon that doesn't have any ammunition, including blanks. Two crew members who witnessed the episode told the Los Angeles Times. There should have been an investigation into what happened. There were no safety meetings. There was no assurance that it wouldn't happen again. All they wanted to do was rush, rush, rush. And again, Alec Baldwin directly responsible for this as the producer. A colleague was so alarmed with the prop gun misfires, he sent a text message to the unit production manager. We've now had three accidental discharges. This is super unsafe. No telling what the one before that was. Clearly, there were problems on this set. Clearly, there were problems to do with the production management and a low budget that they refused to pay people. They didn't want to put them up in hotels. We're going to take a look at that soon. The safety of our cast and crew is top priority of Russ Productions and everyone associated with the company, Russ Movie Productions said. Though we were not made aware of any official complaints, we will be conducting an internal review of our procedures. Yeah, okay. That means you're going to try to cover things up. That's what that means, and everyone knows that. The tragedy occurred Thursday afternoon during filming of a gunfight that began in a church that's part of the old western town. It was the 12th day of a 21-day shoot. 
Cinematographer Helena Hutchins was huddled up around a monitor lining up her next camera shot when she was accidentally killed by the prop gun fired by Baldwin. And these are this information is coming from some uh, you know from some affidavits that have been signed and court documents that have been submitted, things like this. The actor was preparing to film a scene where he pulls a gun out of a holster, according, according to a source close to the production. Crew members had already shouted, cold gun, on the New Mexico set. And uh, I will show you uh, exactly the people that were involved in this, because we have another article that I can tell you the person that determined it was a cold gun, as well as the armorer who is supposed to be supervising all of these things on set. They could also be held liable. The filmmaking team was lining up its camera angles and had yet to retreat to the video village where they were going to watch from a monitor. Instead, the B camera operator was on a dolly with the monitor checking out potential shots. Hutchins was looking at the monitor from over the operator's shoulder, as was Joel Souza, who was crouching behind her. Baldwin removed the gun from its holster once without incident, but the second time he repeated the action so he wasn't supposed to shoot. He was just pulling his gun from his holster. This is a dude. Alec Baldwin is a guy who's like uh, been asking for gun control measures, who's been saying that people are irresponsible with firearms, all of these things. Alec Baldwin is one of these people. And you shot a gun because you were pulling it out. You didn't check this gun to see if it had any ammo on it when you got it, which you should have, despite the fact, despite the fact that people had called it a cold gun. When you received this gun in your hand... That is your responsibility. Everyone who's ever owned a gun or used a gun knows that. So the idea that it had live ammunition, you didn't check it, and then by pulling it out, you accidentally pulled the trigger. Holy shit, Alec Baldwin. It is not looking good for you. Uh, the second time he repeated the action, ammunition flew towards the trio. That's a, okay, that's an interesting way to say he shot it. Uh, the projectile whizzed by the camera operator, but penetrated Hutchins near her shoulder, then continued through to Souza. Hutchins immediately fell to the ground as crew members applied pressure to her wound in an attempt to stop the bleeding. Late Friday, the Associated Press reported that Baldwin was handed a weapon by an assistant director who indicated it was safe to use in the moments before the actor fatally shot a cinematographer. The assistant director did not know the prop gun was loaded with live rounds. The person in charge of overseeing the gun props, known as the armor, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, could not be reached for comment. She's 24 years old and is the daughter of veteran armor Othell Reed and completed her first film as the head of armor for the movie The Old Way. So she does not have much experience. Earlier in the day... The camera crew showed up for work as expected at 6.30 and began gathering up their gear and personal belongings to leave. Labor trouble had began brewing for days on the dusty set of the Bonanza Creek Ranch. Soon it began on October 6th. Members of the low-budget film said they had been promised production would pay for the hotel rooms in Santa Fe. But after filming began, the crews were told they would instead be required to make the 50-mile drive from Albuquerque each day rather than stay overnight in nearby Santa Fe that rankled crew members who worried that uh, they might have an accident after spending 12 to 13 hours on set. And we saw a lot of this information come out on Facebook pretty like a little bit beforehand. Someone says, I'm literally on a show in New Mexico with him and the producers on that movie are treating the local crew like fucking dog shit talking about having to drive all the way back when they're too tired to do so while the production staff stays in Santa Fe. Production staff like Alec Baldwin while making the rest of the crew drive an hour to get back to their hotels. Lot of things coming out right now. Hutchins had been ag uh, advocating for safer conditions for her team and was tearful when the camera crew left, said one crew member. She said, I feel like I'm losing my best friends. As the camera crew members of an International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees spent about an hour assembling the gear at Pananza Creek Ranch, several non-union members showed up to replace them. One of the producers ordered union members to leave the set and threatened to call security to remove them if they didn't leave voluntarily. Corners were being cut, and they brought in non-union people to continue shooting. The shooting occurred only six hours after the union camera crew left. The Santa Fe Ranch deputies were dispatched to Bonanza while filming was underway. After the calls on Thursday, Baldwin was starring in the movie in addition to serving as one of the producers. No charges have been filed, but sheriff's offices said witnesses continue to be interviewed by detectives. 
I think that I think that there's no way there's some charges that aren't filed. Listen, Alec Baldwin is a Hollywood scumbag. Alec Baldwin is an absolute piece of shit. Um, and you know, I, I kind of waited to talk about this before, as far as like my feelings about this, until more information came out. Alec Baldwin has a producer on set. Alec Baldwin is a man who got handed a gun with live ammunition in it for some reason, which we've heard a couple rumors. If you look, this is, you can't confirm this. It's just not Instagram, people talking. Um, this is what they say. The safety complaints were from weeks back and going on daily. I'm guessing because I've seen it before. They had live ammo for shooting between takes just for fun and maybe got live rounds in the mix somehow. This is just someone speculating from something that they know from any information they have on set. Uh, can't confirm that, but why is there should not be live ammunition on set? Bottom line, Alec Baldwin got handed it with live ammunition, did not check it. The armorer seemed inexperienced. The assistant director handed him this gun, saying that it was cold. Alec Baldwin mistakenly pulled the trigger and fired these shots. Alec Baldwin was completely negligent in this and caused this, both as a producer for this movie and also as the person who fired the shot. If he doesn't get in trouble somehow, some way, and held liable for this, there is going to be a lot of people demanding that he answer for it. Because this is not right. A lot of things went wrong safety-wise on this set. A lot of things individually with people went wrong to lead to this to happening. Obviously, there were safety concerns. Multiple misfires. And they did nothing because they wanted to get this movie filmed. Hollywood is garbage. And people like Alec Baldwin don't care about the crew. They don't care about any of that stuff. And these are the kind of things that can happen when they treat people like this. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.